Hello, my name is Lieutenant James Harris. I'm a lieutenant with the Detroit Fire Department. I've been a firefighter for 24 years. I'm a proud dad. I'm a proud, dedicated firefighter for the city of Detroit. I went to Cordes Elementary School in Detroit, Michigan. So today, I'm gonna to read to you Stuff for Stars by Marion Dane Bauer. In the dark, in the dark, in the deep, deep dark, a speck floated, invisible as thought. Weighty as God, there was yet no time. There was yet no space, no up, no down, no edge, no center. No earth with soaring hawks, scuttling beetles, trees reaching for the sky. There was no sky, no you, no me. Only the speck, waiting, waiting. And then the beginning, of the beginning, of all beginnings, went BANG! In a trillionth of a second, our universe was born. A cloud of gas unfolded, unfurled, zig, zag. Stretch, collided, expanded, expanded. Bits bumped, gathered, and fused. And throughout the cosmos, stars caught fire. Trillions of stars, but still no planets to attend those stars. And if no planets, then no oceans, then no mountains, then no hippopotami, no violets blooming in a shady wood, no crickets singing to the night, no day, no night. The stars burned and burned. They burned so long and so hot that some of them exploded, flinging stardust everywhere. And the ash of those dying stars gathered into planets, and the planets circled other stars. But still, no bluebirds, no butterflies, still no snails, no giraffes, still no you, still no me. The planets closest to their star stayed very hot. The ones far away grew very cold. But one lucky planet, a fragile blue ball we call Earth, was neither too far or too near. It circled its yellow star, the one we call the sun. From just the right distance and with just the right tilt, to be sometimes warm and sometimes cool. Perfect for turning that stirring stuff into microchondria, jellyfish, spiders, into ferns and sharks and into daisies and galloping horses. Again, again, Stardust gave birth to Stardust. Dinosaurs lived and died, making room for humans. Our great, great, great grandparents, and all before them, lived and died, making room for more and more children. Then one day, in the dark, in the dark, in the deep, deep dark, another speck floated, invisible as dream, special as love. Waiting, waiting, dividing, changing, growing, until at last you burst into the world. You took a big breath of same air once breathed by woolly mammoths. You cried tears that were only once salty seas. Your hair once the carbon in a leaf. You and the velvet moths, the caterpillars, the lions. You and the singing whales, the larks and the frogs. You and me, loving you, all of us, the stuff of stars. And that was the end.
The Scuff of Stars by Marion Dane Bauer. We just want you to know you can do anything you want to do in life. You just, anything is attainable. We all started where you started. I was once in the third grade and I did what I was supposed to do. I listened to my teachers. I always practice. You never give up. You never quit. I want everybody to stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you.